Hi, my name is Sean and welcome back to the chaos that is Shani and Books. Today I'm going to attempt to do my February TBR while my child is running amok, people are mowing the lawns outside, it's all happening. So if you have seen some of my previous TBR videos, I did start doing a TBR game. I did not make one in January simply because I knew that my month of January was going to be crazy and I didn't know how much I could read, if at all. I have done pretty good considering, but I did have family staying for almost the entire month or a majority of the month. So my reading time was decreased, but I'm hoping that in February we're going to read a lot. So the game that I have been doing on my channel is 10 Pin Bowling Chooses My TBR. So I have in this little mug a bunch of prompts. I'm going to choose 10, stick each onto a little pin from 10 Pin Bowling. And then I roll a ball, whatever gets knocked down, I have to find a book to match the prompt. I think I explained that all right. I don't know. I'll link the playlist of all the previous ones. But yeah, I'm a bit nervous for this year. I have so many books that I want to read in February, so hopefully I can find things that match. Before I get to pulling out the prompts, I'll just quickly talk about things that I'm hoping to read regardless in February, and hopefully I can fit them in, because there are always book clubs that I want to participate in. There is readathons, things like that. So hopefully I can fit in the book Love and Other Disasters, which is the NB book club pick for the month. Razorblade Tears is the literally dead book club pick for the month which I've had mine on hold from the library for ages and I feel like it's gonna not come in in time because I'm I've still got like another person ahead of me but we'll see the love hypothesis is the crusty club reads book of the month which I have read but I kind of want to do a reread so and Ophelia after all is the Bruhas and books book club pick for February which I don't have a copy of that yet but I don't think it's released yet so then there is also Blackathon happening which I'll leave links for that but there's four prompts for the team that I'm thinking of joining, which is team literature, contemporary and nonfiction. I'm sure you could have guessed knowing my reading taste. But the prompts for that is a book that explores the duality of blood and found family, a book that is not set in the US, UK or Canada, a book with neon on the cover, and then to read the group book, which is Black Girls Must Die Exhausted, which I do have out from my library and it came in time. And then I also have a buddy read with Sasha from Sash Reads. I'll link her channel below. I love her and we're trying to do buddy reads throughout the year. And we are going to be buddy reading Wahala, which I think it's pretty much confirmed that that's our buddy read. So I'll talk about that book in a second, but those are my plans that I'm hoping I can fit in. So hopefully the prompts work. Otherwise we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm trying to go fast. I'm gonna pull the prompts out, roll the pins, and then try my best. <sighs> but yes, because it's Blackathon, I'm obviously trying to read a lot of black books because I think all of the pages count towards your team. But yeah, so let's start pulling out 10 of these. So let's hope we get different ones from last time too. Okay, the first one, which you're not gonna be able to read it, but it does say plant on the cover, which I'm already thinking about some books with plants on the cover, so. Oh, perfect, library book, ah. Oh. Okay, so that's two. Oh no. The letters of my name in the title, which. Mm, a 2021 release. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead. I don't even know if these are gonna get knocked down. A romance book. This is going well so far. I don't wanna jinx it, but one, two, three, four, five, halfway. It's pretty good. Over 350 pages. Hmm. <laughs> I'm scared. A book that suits the current season, which... When does summer end? In February or January? It's summer in Australia, anyway. Ooh, a friend's favorite. How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. These are quite good. I'm actually, I'd be happy to read a book from all of these. Oh my God. Recent purchase. Amazing. Last one. Wow. We are starting the year off so good. Five star prediction, which I do have a five star predictions video, but I don't know if I want to pick one from that. If that gets chosen, I think I'll just like literally choose a book that I think I'll give five stars. Oh my god! 
gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let me do the pins and I'll be back. Okay, the way that I literally made those work so well with the books that I was already planning to read, I mean, hello. But let me start going through the books that I picked for each. So I'll start with some of the ones that I had already spoken about. So the first one I have for Plant on the Cover that got knocked down. So seven got knocked down, which that's okay. That's pretty good. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted, which clearly has a lot of plants on the cover. And this is the group book for Blackathon for the team that I am thinking I'm going to be joining. So super glad that my library had this. Um, I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Tabitha Walker is a black woman with a plan to have it all. At 33, the checklist for the life of her dreams is well underway. Education, check. Good job, check. Down payment for a nice house, check. Dating, marriage material, check, check, and check. With a coveted position as a local news reporter, a paper perfect boyfriend, and even a and even a standing Saturday morning appointment with a reliable hairstylist, everything seems to be falling into place. When Tabby receives an unexpected diagnosis that brings her picture-perfect life crashing down. Ooh, okay. I feel like this is something that I would really enjoy. I literally, like I clearly had to read the back. I had no idea what it was about. Just saw that it was the group book and that my library had it. And now it works for plant on the cover. I'm so excited. By the way, let me know if you are participating in Blackathon. I'm super excited to join this month. Anyway, next one. And I totally forgot to include this book um, in the beginning, but for the prompt of a library book, I also have out from the library and I also managed to fit in all of the library books that I have out into this TBR, which is perfect. So I have They Never Learn by Lena Fargo out from my library, which this has been super hyped in the past year. Everyone was reading and loving it. So when I saw my library had it, of course I have to check it out. But the other reason that I got this is it works for February's buzzword prompt, which if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but Kayla, a books and Lala, does this year long reading challenge where each month there's a word and you have to read a book with that word in the title. And February is pronouns and possessives, which they works perfectly. And this is, I think about this professor who is, bless you, who is killing men who are like not very nice people. So yeah, everyone's been raving about this. So I'm sure that it's gonna be good. Next up for my library books, I have a friend's favorite. And the book that I've picked is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. And this one is another thriller. This is like this married couple and they go on like an anniversary trip, I think. And I don't know, I guess someone gets murdered. But I also saw a lot of people reading this and loving this last year. And it was on a few people's favorites of the year list. I'm pretty sure it was on Jan's and Naomi's favorites list. I'm sure there was other people as well, but that's the people that stick in my mind. And yeah, they're friends. So it counts for friends favorite. There's literally a person mowing the lawn right outside the window that I'm filming in front of. And I don't know if he can see me. That's kind of embarrassing if he can. Anyway, excited to get to this one. Next up and works so perfectly. For the prompt of a recent purchase, I have Wahala. I don't really know if I'm saying that right. I'm just like pronouncing it phonetically, but this is by Nikki May and it literally just came out this month. This is the one that I am body reading with Sasha and this will work for like neon on the cover because I feel like these are neon. And this is the most recent book that I have acquired. So perfect. But this says Ronki, Simi, Boo are inseparable mixed race friends living in London. They have the gift of two cultures, Nigerian and English, though they don't all choose to see it that way. So I'm guessing it's going to discuss race a lot in this but the funny thing about this book um like i said i'm body reading it with sasha but she was the one that told me about this book at the beginning of the year she sent me the goodreads link and was like this looks like something you would like and it sounded like something i would like so i was like okay i requested it from my library but it was going to take forever and then actually my boyfriend was out looking at books and he was going to buy me a book but last time he did that he bought me a book that I already owned. He ended up calling me and saying, is there a book that you are wanting to get? And I said this one and he was like, oh my God, I literally had that in my hands. And I was thinking this looks like something she would read. So clearly everyone just thinks this is a book that I would read, but it's super fun that I'm body reading this with Sasha because like I said, she was the person who told me about it. Otherwise I would have had no idea that this was coming out. But yeah, also this one works 
for Blackathon. I know not all these books are by black authors, like those other two that I just talked about, those two thrillers. They don't work, but that's fine because I have them out from my library, so I need to read them anyway. Next up, for the letters of my name in the title, which <laughs> I kind of just looked for which books had long titles because I figured if they have a long title, there's more chance that the letters of my name are going to be in it. But I've chosen Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston, which S H A R N I. They're all there. Um, and this is a middle grade book. I did start reading this last year for the We're All Booked book club, but Kian, who is now fussing in the background, pulled my bookmark out and then I was kind of in a reading slump, so I didn't know where I was up to. I'm gonna have to start it again from the beginning. But Lacey did tell me that the sequel's coming out. Um, yeah, the sequel is coming out soon, so I'm gonna read this so then I can read the sequel, but I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. And this one is a black author, so it does work for Blackathon, but it's not contemporary. So can I count these? pages towards my team if my team isn't fantasy I don't really know I don't really know how it works but anyway I've been meaning to read this loads of people have read it and loved it so and I loved the bit that I did read but obviously went into a slump lost my place it's fine I'm gonna read it now next up we have a 2021 release for the prompt and the book that I've chosen is Will by Will Smith I did go to start reading this at the end of last year this was released like literally in like November or December and I did go to start reading it and yeah I don't know I just got distracted by other things I have the audiobook of this which I do like to listen to the audiobook for memoirs especially if the person whose memoir it is is narrating it and obviously um this one is obviously this is a memoir about Will Smith I don't read a lot of celebrity books although I have read like three recently this will be my third I don't know. But Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is my favorite TV show, one of my favorite TV shows. So I love Will Smith. This was the one I was going to use for neon on the cover for the prompt, but I think Wahala works a lot better. Yeah, that fits for that one. And then last for the prompts of the pins, thankfully because Ken's fussing now, was Five Star Prediction. And I picked this one because this author's other book was in my Five Star Predictions video and it was a five star read. It was in my favorites of the year. So, Hopefully this book by this author is also five stars, but it is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I really like this cover. But yeah, like I said, Monday's Not Coming was in that five star predictions video, which I don't really remember what else was in that video. It was a while ago and it was one of my favorites of last year. So I'm so excited to get into this one. Ooh, I hope it's good. But yeah, love Tiffany D. Jackson and very excited to read more from her. This is like about this young girl who was trying to get into the music industry and... I think like this celebrity helps her and then he ends up getting murdered. I think, I don't really 100% know, but I'm very, very, very excited to get into this one. So yes, those were all of the seven books that fit the seven prompts that I had for myself. Then obviously, like I said at the beginning, I do have some other books, but I don't have physical copies of them. So I'm like tentatively putting them on my TBR, but Love and Other Disasters, which is the NB book club pick. I'm pretty sure that book is arriving this week. So I will be reading that one. And that one is a romance that is set on like this cooking reality TV show. And then Razorblade Tears, like I said, I have it on hold from my library, but I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna get it in time. But if I do, I can add that in. And then, yeah, reread of The Love Hypothesis. Who knows what I'll be in the mood for. And then Ophelia After All, I don't have, but if I can get my hands on it, I will read that for Brewhouse and Books. Okay, we're gonna have to go, cause he's getting fussy, but those. Here's the chaos. Those are the books that I'm planning to read in February. Let me know if you are also reading any of these books, if you're participating in these book clubs that I mentioned or the readathon that I spoke about. The guy's going past me one more again. But yes, I'm super excited for all of these books. And I'm excited for my year of reading. Okay, I don't know if I'm forgetting any, but I've got to go. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. And yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.